Hey everybody, welcome back to Sponge's Tech Tips. If you had uh, tuned in to my last video, I'm working on a 2002 Dodge Dakota. Uh, I'm working on getting the back window out of it. I am out in Lake Stevens, or I guess it, it might be Granite Falls, Washington. Uh, clouds have kind of broke a bit. There's some sunshine here. Um, but as I've been working, trying to get this window out to uh, use in a 2001 Dodge Dakota, I ran into a little issue that uh, I would assume lots of people run into out at the rocking yard. I've run into it a million times and I wasn't even thinking about it. So I had to run out to my truck and grab a couple more tools. But So in the case of this uh, Dakota window, uh, it is all the way up. And when the vehicles come out to the wrecking yard, they, they take the gas out of them, they take the batteries out, and they make it so the window doesn't roll down. Especially if, if you have power windows, um, it's even worse than not even having the crank for a manual window because you're not going to move that thing without taking the whole thing apart. Uh, the trick is, is many wrecking yards will let you bring your battery uh, operated tools, whether it be a sawzall or a drill or something. And in this case, I was able to bring out my Craftsman drill. It's a 19.2 volt. And I have rigged up, I, I keep these with me all the time. It's just a couple simple wires um, with a female, let's see, there it is. A couple wires with female plugs on them. And this, uh, what I, this allows me to do is I can actually uh, tap onto my drill uh, battery with a positive and negative. Now, depending on what type of drill you have is going to determine which one is your positive and negative. So you want to find that out. Obviously, be cautious. You don't want to get these two wires to touch each other. Um, access the wire. So in this case, this was our plug to get to the window. So you can see here's the, here's the harness wires going in, then this plug goes to the the uh, window motor which is mounted on the inside. Um, this one is a, it's a simple pull tab, but it, keep in mind this is for any vehicle, not just a 01 Dodge Dakota, uh, you should be able to. So we pop this here, and then you push down this handle, and when you do that, this plug comes out, boom. And inside that plug, you'll see two contact points. You want to, you, know, you don't know which one right out of the gate is going to make the window go up or down. You're going to use your battery. And this is kind of a two-handed thing. You take one on one side and one on the other. You touch those and that creates the uh, power to run the window down. You don't even need the switch. So I will try my best to set up my phone here and do it. I can't hold my phone and do it at the same time because you have to touch those very carefully. Um, if, if this was something somebody wasn't, you know, wasn't just using two rod wires, you could use a couple gator clips or even two other um, connections on the other side. So let me see if I can set this up to a point where you can see what I'm doing here. It's gonna be difficult, but let's see if we can get this to hold. Let's see, right there. So I'm hoping you can see that. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take these wires, you're gonna go in. Again, be careful not to touch them to each other. And, okay, that was up, so we need to reverse it. And down the window goes. So if you see that there, I'm sure you heard it. Now the window's down. I have, uh, I gotta go up just a tiny bit. So I have the um, 10 millimeter bolt to take the glass out here. And then over here, we actually have to raise this up to about here. So that way we can access the bolt through there. Uh, and then once we unbolt that, the glass will slide right up the top. So, okay, I hope this helps you out. Uh, maybe you find yourself out in a wrecking yard in a pinch needing a glass. Instead of destroying the door or destroying your hands trying to reach up to get to those two 10 milliliter bolts, this, uh, this should help you um, in the future. So feel free to hit the like button. Um, follow the page if you'd like. That would be cool if you want to subscribe. 
uh, follow the page. I'm going to keep doing more videos, all different makes and models, all short, small tips like this. And if you have any feedback, uh, feel free to uh, leave a comment in the comment section. So, all right, guys, see you next time.